Hello Capricorn, welcome to the next six months in love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in the next six months when it comes to love. As always, it's meant to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Check your uh, moon and rising signs as well. I'll have the playlist for all of the signs in the description box. Um, also, feel free to flip the roles if this um, resonates more better for you that way. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, what can Capricorn expect in the next six months in love? What can Capricorn expect, Spirit, in the next six months when it comes to love? Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires, okay? There's attraction here, some sort of um, desire. I am going to clarify all of these energies separately with the tarot, so we'll see more of that in a little bit. What else for Capricorn? What can Capricorn expect in the next six months there? What can Capricorn expect in the next six months? You deserve love. You are lovable. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Free yourself. Interesting. What else for Capricorn? Can I get one more energy, please? What's going on for Capricorn in love in the next six months? What's going on for Capricorn in love in the next six months? What's going on for Capricorn? Okay, we got two, successful and Leo, ruled by the sun. This is also like the sun card of the, not the sun card, the strength card of the tarot. So Leo and successful. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Leo could be um, on their way to you. But I'm getting like very um, positive energy. Like I thought of the sun card here, even though these were inspired by the major arcana. So we'll clarify that and see. Can I get some clarity for Capricorn, please? What do we need to know for Capricorn for the next six months in love? What do we need to know for Capricorn for the next six months in love? Tell me about pure seduction. What's this about, this pure seduction energy? What's this about? Nine of coin. Yeah, this is someone definitely like attracted to someone. What else? Tell me about pure seduction. What's this energy about? It's pure seduction card. Four of swords. Okay, but not doing anything about it. Okay. We'll see more when I look at my clarifying deck. Tell me about this you deserve love energy. This is you deserve love energy. Six of wands, okay. Tell me more about this you deserve love energy. Two of wands. A choice here, a path. Tell me about Leo and successful. Why are these energies here? Ten of Cups. Nice. Why is Leo and successful energies? What are these energies doing here for Capricorn? Seven of Pentacles. I mean, those are the, the cards up here, essentially. Ten of Cups, Seven of Coin. I feel like this is where you're headed, basically. In love. Happiness, your happy ending, emotional fulfillment. It might take some time with the Seven of Coin, or there might be doubts here as to how the future will play out. 
but so far it looks good. I think so. You're definitely either you've caught someone's eye or you are interested in someone for sure. So let's clarify. I'm going to use my little clarifying deck here. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Capricorn. Let me clarify. These energies for Capricorn. Tell me about this Nine of Coin and the Four of Swords. What is the Nine of Coin and the Four of Swords here? Ace of Swords. Why is the Nine of Coin Four of Swords here? Wow, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like someone wants to talk, wants to make you some sort of offer. Then we have the Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy, and the High Priestess Reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that hasn't made a move yet. Um, perhaps because maybe they're secretly wanting this and they haven't told you. Or perhaps this would surprise you and they don't want to surprise you. <laughs> But this is someone definitely um, interested. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Two of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here with the Two of Wands? Wow, King of Pentacles. This could be the person coming in Capricorn, or this could be your energy here. Doing very well. Tell me about the Six of Wands with the Two of Wands. Death, Reverse, Scorpio Energy. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Two of Wands. Oops. I'm going to pick those up the way they fell. The Star Reverse, Aquarius Energy, and the Ace of Wands Reverse. Aquarius Energy with the Star, Ace of Wands Reverse. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And then the King of Swords. So I feel like this is a situation where you have to make a choice in order to have what you want. But why is the death card reversed? Because the death card reversed is like a resistance to an ending or a change. Why is death reversed? Why is death reversed? Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords. So this is someone that really needs to um, make a move of some sort and make a, yeah, you have to make a choice. Two of Wands, um, Two of Pentacles reverse, Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, this, okay. I feel like you're almost scared to make this decision or you're hesitating on making this decision. But this, make no mistake, you, you can't have both. You have to choose one option. Something either has to end in order for a door to open. You have to choose one person, you know, that kind of energy. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. Why is, why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Yeah, Two of Swords reverse. So I feel like there is, yeah, this opportunity, you might have to break a commitment or you might have to experience some sort of a loss here in order to have your happy ending. This could be a delayed opportunity because you have to make a decision first. And this could be any sort of decision. Like I said, you, could you might have to choose between two people. You might have to end a cycle. You might have to physically move, something like that. But I think Spirit is trying to tell you that you deserve this new opportunity. Tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Coin. Tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Coin. Strength Reverse, Leo Energy, and Ace of Pentacles Reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I see um, disappointment here, basically. 
I see someone that um, once again courage is needed with the strength card reverse is what I'm feeling can I get a clarifier please for the strength card reverse queen of pentacles reverse tell me about the king of cups reverse yeah I feel like this is um there's a conflict here and I'm not sure what it is but it's like that needs to be over Five of Cups and Four of Cups. Yeah, there's this disappointment here. Something to do with the past, I feel. There's regrets, disappointments. Um, the past you think about, you know, you might think about the past a lot. Maybe you miss someone from your past. Three of Cups reversed. You could, this could be a third party situation. Um, I feel like you have to make a choice here. And I feel like with the seven of coin, there might be doubts too that you might be having about, you know, will this work out? Or will this be another mistake? Yeah, three of swords reverse. So nine of wands and the 10 of swords reverse and then the seven of coin again. So it's almost like you're wondering Capricorn if this ending is a good idea, if it's, um, if you'll be able to move on here. Um, if it, there will be success on the other side, etc. But I feel like with the Nine of Wands, you've already given a lot to this. There you are. The Devil, Capricorn Energy, and then the Five of Cups. So I see this as you being the one that's doing this, think, this thinking of the past, this having these regrets. I think it's almost like, will I ever be happy? Will I ever get the love that I deserve? I think you will, but it's going to require a choice. And of course, flip this if it resonates more for you. But this is someone definitely that has to make a choice here. Tell me about the Two of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Two of Swords reverse, please. Two of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Two of Swords reverse. Yeah, I think you're going to have to end a connection here. Tell me about the Two of Swords reverse. Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, it, it'll be difficult, but I feel like this is necessary. It's like moving on from this. I don't know if this is an existing person or a past person, but I feel like this is about moving on from that ending. And that's part of the choice here. Two of Pentacles reverse and a Ten of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Nine of Cups. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And then the Eight of Pentacles. So... I feel like this is leading to your Ten of Cups with the Nine of Cups here. But with the Six of Wands reverse, I feel like there's a lot of eyes on you or you're worried about what others might think. Like I'm getting that people are watching you, watching what move you make here. Um, I'm getting delayed success. Tell me about the Six of swords yeah the world reverse so I, I feel like this is a new cycle that is delayed or you are hesitating making this this move but I feel like this is necessary I feel like what you're attracted to is a particular person or the idea of being free but you're not really moving here I think you have clarity about what you want. You might even want to communicate with this other person. Um, but I feel like you have to end something or change something in order to have this Ten of Cups. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. 
and uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy this reading and wanted to see and want to see more readings from me. I appreciate all of your comments, your support, um, and that you continue to watch my readings. Thank you so much, and I will see you in another video very soon. Take care.